بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آپ پر فوکس وتھ فائزا میں ہم ایک اپنے بڑے امیزنگ چیمپ بلوچستان سے تعلق رکھنے والے ہمارے پاکستانی شازی برن کا انٹرویو لے کر آئے تھے ہی از دا فرسٹ پاکستانی پرو فائٹر آن یو ایس سوئل اینڈ ہی ون از فرسٹ فائٹ ان فائٹ کے حوالے سے تو ہم شازیب سے تھوڑی دیر میں بات کریں گے لیکن کچھ لوگ بڑے اہم رہے ہیں شازیب کو امریکہ میں اس فائٹ کے لیے سپورٹ کرنے میں اور انکریج کرنے میں We have with us Shahzeb's manager, Laura Abril. Uh, thank you so much, Laura, for joining us and welcome to Focus with Faiza. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Um, Laura, amazing feat. Uh, Shahzeb, the first Pakistani pro fighter on U.S. soil. He plays his first match at Karate Combat and he wins it. Uh, please just take us back a little bit. And Shahzeb has been saying it's been a one year long journey. from you know pakistan balochistan to the us soil in miami please take us back and tell us how did you spot shahzeb he's amazing he's talented but you know he's at the other end of the world and how do you spot this amazing pro fighter and how do you get him to the us so actually shahzeb reached out i think it was march of 2022 um so around this time last year and uh, he was interested in potentially being managed by our our management team go worldwide So, of course, we had an interview to kind of get to know each other and see if it aligned well, and it did. I could tell, you know, he has great charisma, he's very professional, and I really liked his personality, and I, see, I saw that he was driven. So, of course, we had to do some more digging and some research. So, um, my husband, who is the head coach of Boat Shed Academy in Miami, he is the expert in MMA and all things combat sports. So, I sent Shizay's videos from Pakistan and Pakistan. a little bit of his performances to Asim, my husband, and Asim was studying him and saw, yes, he has a lot of potential. He, this is a great uh, candidate. So from then on, I talked to Shazib and we took him on. He signed with us officially. And uh, from there, we, I knew the, the first step forward in the direction that he wanted to go in his goals was to bring him here to the United States. Um, that way he could train right under Asim and we could really see his his growth from there. So that's why we made the decision for him to come here and train directly under Austin. So it took uh, Shazib about a year to get to America. And then he's been here since I think February, 2023. And he's been, he trained about two months before the fight. Um, after the fight, uh, what kind of reaction have you received as his manager? Is this the reaction you were expecting uh, or has it been overwhelming? It has definitely been overwhelming, but I, I've known since the moment I met Shazay that he has the superstar potential and he has a lot of talent. Like I said, a lot of charisma. He's great on camera. So I knew that he was a great representative for Pakistan and for him to come here and really put a lot of the fighters, you know, from Pakistan on the map and show everybody here what talent Pakistan has. I knew that from the beginning he had that potential. And so to see it, it's, it's amazing that it's finally playing out the way that we were hoping for and that I knew all along that he could, he could do. And what do you uh, see um, uh, for Shahzeb in the future as his manager? Uh, do, you want to be, uh, do you want him to be participating, obviously, in more fights? Do you want him to move permanently uh, to America? Uh, how do you see this with Shahzeb now in the future? Well, ideally, you know, from the moment that we were speaking when he was in Pakistan, I knew that we, we needed to build a long-term career in his passion, which is his uh, combat sports. So what we wanted to do is get him involved in a promotion that was really going to bring eyes to Shazab and help him get some experience and then, um, you know, go from there. So what we're doing now is looking for more fights with Karate Combat, this amazing promotion that it turned out very well for Shazab. He performed great and it really is a good platform for him to, you know, show what he can do. So, um, so yeah, right now we're just looking for next, the next couple of fights for Karate Combat and we're looking to negotiate uh, a great, you know, paying contract for Shazab. You know, um, Laura, I, it was a very impromptu interview that I had with your uh, husband, Coach Asim Zaidi, last time. And when I found out that he's, he's obviously, you know, born and raised in America, but he's a Pakistani-American and the passion he brings uh, to Shah Zaid's fights, you know, the kind of support that he's brought. I've been monitoring the social media accounts. It's just amazing. Um, as a family, Shah Zaid has been, you know, posting on social media about the kind of support all of you have lended to him. Uh, how... 
easy was it or how difficult was it to gather the Pakistani American community together uh, for uh, supporting Shahzeb on his big night against Diaz? It, I think it was easy. Shahzeb, everybody yeah. loved him. Uh, the second that they meet him, you know, people fall in love with his personality and they see the talent. This is a very young, driven, talented, you know, man who's trying to make it here in, in this country. And I think it's just really wonderful. He has a lot of potential. So it's very easy to fall in love with him and support him. So thank God, you know, that uh, Austin is, has Pakistani background. His parents right away, they met Shahzeb and they loved him. So uh, that was the kind of the goal that I saw from last year is to get the Pakistani community here in America to also rally behind him and help support him and bring him up. And how do you manage to keep, because you guys have been so supportive of Shahzeb and I can see like kind of taking him under your wings, you know, you, yourself and Asim. Do you guys kind of differentiate the professional and personal relationship or that really doesn't matter anymore? Well, the, the good thing about our company, the management company, is that it's it's small. We have a small team, and I like to keep it that way. I like for our roster to be small. We're very selective, and I do that for a reason, so we can give these fighters, you know, the VIP experience. We can really give them the attention and the resources that they need. So that's why I have that in mind, to keep it small, which is not traditionally the case for management companies, because a lot of management com companies have maybe 100 fighters on their roster. Whereas, you know, that's that's not the business model that we want to go for. So um, the business, you know, it's it's still professional, but we do do a little bit more than the normal management company does. But I like it that way. I think it's what the fighter needs to succeed. They really need a support system that's consistent, that's loyal, and that really gives them the attention that they deserve. And you know what, Laura, um, I mean, in the end, I'd just like to ask you a very, uh, you know, personally related professional question to you as a girl, as a woman in this pro fighter male dominated industry. Uh, how do you find your work? I mean, it's very intriguing and it's very inspiring. So for girls who are hearing you, what would you tell them? Is it easy uh, or is it easy because you're passionate about it? That's exactly what it is. It's easy because you're passionate about it. When you're passionate about something, everything comes more naturally and you give it your all. So Austin likes to, this is a quote that I always say and Austin likes to tell everybody, this is, I said this one time and uh, it's stuck with him. It's not a nine to five, it's until the work is done. And when you're passionate about something, you don't clock out, you know, you keep, you keep going until it's done. And um, when you're passionate about it, that's, you give it your all. So I definitely would tell you, you know, younger girls and people that are listening to this is definitely follow your passion this is not traditionally what you see in this uh, position as a manager in uh, a male dominated sport like mma and combat sports uh, it's definitely rare to see a female manager but you know i i'm an attorney i graduated with a legal background and i have legal experience with contracts and negotiating and then of course my husband this is his life Combat sports is his life. So naturally, you know, I've been watching combat sports for years. And so with that mixed with the legal background, it was very easy for me to, uh, you know, be passionate about helping these fighters. And that's how the position kind of came about for me. Amazing talking to you, Laura. And I think you've kind of summed it up really well. When we're passionate about something, it's not a nine to five. It's until the work is done. So all the best to you, all the best to your management company. And we look forward to seeing more of uh, Shah Zebrin's fights. As Pakistanis, obviously, we're supporting him, but we're also very happy and grateful that he has massive support um, in your and Asim um, Zedi's family and all the Pakistani community there. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. Thanks. And I look forward to seeing what else Shazay can, can do and bring it forward to you guys. Thank you so much. It was lovely talking to you. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. Thank you.